I joined the United States Navy my senior year of high school. Um, February, my senior year of high school, I joined to become a firefighter, but part of being a firefighter in the Navy back in the day um, is they taught you ship's maintenance, and welding was one of those skills that came along with ship maintenance. Mr. Buzz's class for learning everything from grinders to the torch to the plasma cutter to stick welding, wire welding, including flux and MIG. Um, right now we're working on our D, on our structural test right now. And What we teach is there's a lot of hands-on, so you have to want to work. You have to want to work in uncomfortable conditions. We'll deal with metal temperatures greater than the surface of the sun. That's around 8,000 degrees. We can get you up to around 15 grand easy in that shop. And so you're gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, it is hard work. You're dealing with metals. Um, structural steel fabrication is big iron, so you know it's going to take a physical toll. But in this business and welding, the harder you work, the luckier you get. It's going to be giving you math all day long, converting fractions of whole numbers, whole numbers to fractions, fractions to decimals. I mean, you've got to. Um, to have a basic understanding of math and you're going to be doing it in your head. Well, you need to learn how to read a tape measure, first of all, and how the tools operate, change the grinder wheels, set your machine, you know your voltage, your amperage, and your wire speed. Patience, yeah, because when you're first starting off, you're gonna mess up a lot. And in order to get better at that, you're gonna have to communicate with other people, watch them, what they're doing, and ask questions, because if not, you're just gonna get stuck. Well, I've always liked putting stuff together. Now I start welding when I was like younger, I thought it was always pretty cool. And I always used to see like the trucks around town and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I saw this class and I was like, oh, I want to try it out. Yeah, right now, like I said, we're working on the structural test. So we're going to be doing stick welding with that one and flux core welding with that one. So if we pass those, there are two certifications in structural steel. And then our forklift certification too, we're going to get that one as well. And there is another certification, a pipe one, but we haven't gotten any pipe in yet. Well, after I complete this class, I want to go to PG&E for an apprenticeship but obviously there's stuff that goes along with that, so I might have to work a little bit more after I get out of this class, but that's what I want to go do, work for PG&E. If you don't make a personal connection with a student, you have no hope of actually teaching them. And so my philosophy is to build a relationship, an interpersonal relationship with my students, find out who they are, why'd you come here, what are your goals, how can I help you reach those, and the more we build that relationship, the greater the accountability and the greater the results in the end, and the more fun we have doing it. And the favorite part of my job is to see them come in the door with their dreams and do my best to point them in the right direction and build knowledge and skills so they can realize their goals and then the really cool thing is watching them hit their goals and go out and get those good paying jobs and build a career, a life for themselves. <laughs>